Always great speaking with you. You know, it's kind of funny. Um, for folks who are listening to the whole interview on Rudy Blair Entertainment Media, RudyBlairMedia.com, I was thinking about um, when the first time we met, which was actually at Canadian Music Week. And yeah. it was the Radio Music Awards it was several years ago. And we had a great chat. And then a couple of years after that, I got a chance to introduce you at uh, Young Dundas Square, and you were performing down there. We yes. just tore it up. And then we jump again, and, you know, we're we're at the uh, CTV, and, you know, you just won the, uh, you know, the competition for that show, the launch for that uh, episode. And you're working with all these great people with Now Rogers, and you've got a hit single going out. And I was sitting back and I was thinking about, you know, how – a person like yourself who is so talented but so humble at the same time has done so much in the last few years. Like, I'm so, so proud of you. And congratulations on all the success from from what I know of, from what we've met, to what we're going to be talking about now. Congratulations. Thanks, Rudy. I mean, you've, you've seen it all. You've been there through all my eras so far. And I was talking to my boyfriend about that the other day. I said, I need to talk to Rudy because he's been there for everything. You've literally and, seen me through it all. And thank you. You know, people should realize, too, that, um, you know, people like saying, you know, artists are overnight success. And, yes, they sometimes see the tough things. You've mm-hmm. gone through dark times to keep things bright. How do you keep that strength going and always making sure that you don't let negative things pull you away and you stay focused the way you have for all these years? Honestly, I love proving people wrong, and I think that's what drives me. Um, I like to say that I, I'm i here for the underdogs. I want to give the underdogs a voice. Um, and the reason I keep going is because I think the underdogs need a voice. And I think that it's fun to prove people wrong. Sometimes I have bad days where I doubt myself and I don't feel good, but I think that's pretty normal. It is. It is. But, um, you know, sometimes people give up and you just don't give up. And um, you have such a unique way. And, yeah, you've gone through phases through music. Well, can you talk about the phases to what we're going to be leading into now from the beginning when you first started to what was happening with you again through the launch to sure. what we're going to talk about now? Well, I got my start um, in 2014 when I sang with Lady Gaga. And then in 2016, I released a song on Sony. I got signed to Sony, and I released a song called Armageddon, um, which was on the Hot 100 billboard for like 16 weeks, which was insane. And I released another song called Colors with Sony. I ended my time with Sony. And then a couple, I guess a year or two later, I was on the launch CTV, um, and I won an episode with Now Rogers and BB Rexa and had an awesome song come out called Emotional. And then now I'm kind of putting out something really different. Um, This new song is called Time Off from a Letdown. And it's it's rock, first of all. I used to put out a lot of pop music, and this is kind of a new direction for me. Um, Because of the pandemic and everything, it's given me time to just experiment. And I really, really, really love this sound. Um, And I've realized that there's no limitations anymore. I don't really have anyone giving me an agenda, telling me what to do or who to be. I could just be whatever I feel like. And right now I just feel like putting out rock music and trying it out. I'm taking some time off from letting me down I'm staying home tonight Is this a a um, almost like even though you put the song out now? My first thought was even watching the video, and we're going to talk about that too. And musically, um, it's almost like a '60s or '70s celebration of psychedelic rock. Am I right there? Yeah, yeah. I love. I'm a huge fan of the '60s and '70s stuff. Um, and if you see like on online, like my Instagram and stuff, it's all very bright and colorful. 
and hippie feeling and psychedelic and that's kind of the vibe that just feels right for me and it's funny because when I put out Armageddon it was a very dark song and my look was completely different and I think um you know getting signed at 17 is kind of difficult in itself and now being I'm 24 now and I've I feel like I'm finally coming into who I'm meant to be and it's funny because I'm sure in other interviews we've talked I've said the same thing but and I'm sure I'll keep changing that's but right now growth, I feel really good that's what growth is all about and of course it's always going to be uh, changing and that's what, well, actually yeah. it's funny because that was kind of like my next question though but not just personally because you've talked about personally business wise what do you think how do you think you've changed business wise through the uh, music industry mm-hmm. to leading to what we are now well i learned the business side of things which is what i try and encourage artists to do um because when you don't know the business side of things that's when people come in and take too much or or kind of try and figure it out for you in a non fair way um it's funny now though because i don't really have a team around me I'm kind of doing everything by myself and learning how to do everything by myself. And it's great because in a pandemic, I can't really see anyone anyway. <clears throat> so doing things by myself is really beneficial. Wait, did you do the video on your own too? Yeah, I did this with a friend uh, named Zoe. But yeah, we spent hours and hours editing and doing everything. All the I've, I've pitched all the promo. I've done the editing on the video. I styled the video and did all the hair and makeup and stuff like that and I've got an Instagram filter coming that we worked on together and a lot of logos and merch and different things and I've just put all of my time and effort into everything because I don't want to put out a song that's like that's okay I want to put out something that looks great and feels great and people love it you know can you describe the video because honestly the video itself reminded me of again the 60s and 70s but I even throw in the 90s to like grunt, sort of grunge, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Can you describe that, please? Because saying that you did this on your own with your friend and uh, doing this through, during COVID, you deserve an yeah. award for this. Thanks, oh, Rudy. I love you. Um, the video, really, this whole song represents. You know, I've spent a lot of my time and years um, feeling like I'm letting everyone down around me because I'm not what they want me to be. And for so long, that kind of ruled my life. I felt like I needed to be what people wanted me to be. And this whole idea around the song is I'm done. I'm taking some time off from letting you down. I'm staying home tonight. Like, I'm going to focus on myself. I'm going to put all my energy into me. And there's no more letting other people down because in the end, I'm just letting myself down. So I don't want to let myself down. Um, I'm at a point where I just love where I'm at and love who I am. And in this video, it kind of goes through the feeling of, you know, maybe a bad breakup or a bad time in your life. And you just feel bad like you've let everyone down. And by the end, um, it's like this awakening where I'm standing in the rain and I'm just like, I'm okay with where I'm at. I'm good. Well, you know what? Um, We're proud of you. I know I'm proud of you because, um, you. you know, I know... What we've talked personally, I know some of the things that you've gone through and what you've been able to accomplish, like I said, absolutely amazing. What advice can you give other folks who are going through tough tough times and still want to follow that, that right path um, and hopefully succeed at the things that they want to do? Because you're perfect proof on you can succeed. Well, that's all about manifesting. Manifest what you want and let it go and let it come for you, but work really hard at it. Um, My best advice would be be unapologetically you and be delusionally positive. Amen to that. (laughs) I love that. Is there going to be new music coming out too, like following with this with an EP or an album? And also, uh, because of COVID-19, virtual performances and drive-ins seem to be the uh, way to go. Will that be happening with you too? So the funny thing is, I've been working on so much music during quarantine. I have a, I have a full pop EP finished called "Love Me Till I'm Me Again," kind of about Whoa. that whole journey you're talking about, about you know losing myself and the journey to find myself, um, and "Love Me Till I'm Me Again." I've got an EP in the works that's kind of like a '60s servers EP. That's almost <laughs> I can't done. wait for that. That's yeah, amazing. and then. And then I'm doing this kind of this kind of stuff, which is kind of like 
Coldplay meets Lana Del Rey meets Beck, um, I'd say. Um, so a lot of new music is kind of sitting and chilling for now. Um, I'm hoping to work with a record label that really appreciates what I'm doing and who I am. That would be a lot of fun. Um, but I do have a Christmas song I'm going to work on. Hopefully that'll come out this year. Um, that's I would, gonna, I'm going to jump in. I was just about to ask you because the holiday season is coming up. Will you be releasing any Christmas music? Yeah, I'm going to start it on Monday. So hopefully it'll be ready. Um, it, it's called, um, it won't feel like Christmas this year. Okay, you got to promise me if you do this, if you make, if you can do it, because as we know, it's just a tough time to do a lot of things. But I figure if you can pull off such a great video like that. I know you can get this Christmas song ready for the holidays. So yeah, you, we got to talk about that when it happens, please. Yes, yeah, we we definitely will. Yeah, I I probably won't do a video for it, but just the song. It'll be the song's done. I just need to get it produced. So I'm sure it'll happen. Um, yeah. I'm looking I forward to it. I've never done I'm, a Christmas song, so. I know you. you you're Miss Miracle Worker. You'll make it happen. I, um, I put till things happen. Yeah. You'll make it yeah. happen. Social media, the place to go. Where do we go to follow you? Michelle Tracy Official, and on Twitter is Mish Tracy. Fantastic. Thank you so much for making time Woo-hoo. to speak with me. Um, congratulations on getting through all of this and putting out great music. I'm encouraging Thanks. everybody, don't just – this is a song that you can lose yourself in, which is what I love. But uh, And I usually say close your eyes and listen to music, but folks, watch the video. The video is so um, is such a compliment to this song. It's amazing. And the fact that you said that you did this during COVID makes it even more special. So please, please, uh, please, thanks, folks, Bernie. listen to the music, watch the video, too. Congratulations on everything. And cross fingers that the next time we get a chance to talk, it'll be in person. I really, really hope Oh, that. yes. Take care. Be safe. Hello to the boyfriend for me. And I will do. We'll Actually, you know him. Who's you that? You know him. Who? Um, his, his name is Kyle T. He plays bass with the Reclaws. He said he oh saw my you at... God, yes. He said he saw you at the Junos, and you'd asked him to be interviewed for the Reclaws, and he was laughing and saying, I can't do that. I just play bass for them. <laughs> Oh my goodness! So you this do is know. Small, I do know him. Tell him I said hello, and tell him next time you should like fill me in on everything that's going on. Jeez. Yeah, we we love you so much, Rudy. I'm so happy to talk to you. It's so nice. Well, I love you too. Love him also. Love both of you. So glad that you guys found each other, and so glad that you guys are are you know making things yeah. beautiful. Hey, we've been best friends for we we met probably around the time that me and you met. So it's been a long time coming. Special times. I love it. Be safe. Tell them I said hello. And hopefully we'll get a chance to talk to them in person.